another day, another repair video. So today I want to talk about trying to fix bent motor shafts. I noticed that my little happy model here was having some trouble when I was flying it. I was getting some extra jello that I wasn't used to and the motors didn't quite sound right. So what I did was I took it down and I started looking at the motors and just slowly spinning the the bells here and looking at the center of the props and you can see this one that hole kind of stays exactly where it is the center of the prop stays where it should be same thing here then as we rotate around to this one I don't know how easy that is to see but yeah you can see the the hole the center of the prop is spinning in an eccentric circle it's not staying still which means that this prop sh or this um, motor shaft is bent Let's take a look at this one. As you can see, this one's even worse. So the first thing I want to do is I want to see where it's bent. So, because it's either going to be bent above the bell or below the bell or both. So to check that, I'm going to take the motor that I know has a bent shaft because it's not spinning true in the middle here. And I'm going to take it and look at the side and spin it from the side like this. And I don't want to see if that bell is moving up and down as I spin it because if it is then that means that the, the shaft is bent inside the bell and not above it or possibly both. This bell looks good and this bell also looks good. So what I'm dealing with is I have a bent shaft above the bell here and a bent shaft above the bell here. Now depending on the quad and the, I mean depending on the motors it, it's going to be a different procedure to try to fix this these shafts are fairly thin and they're not really removable so I'm just going basically going to try to, to force it back into shape if the if you have a larger motor and you may be able to replace the shaft in it you may also struggle to fit to bend the shaft back because it may be much much stronger smaller motors are even easier to deal with of course they're even easier to bend so it, it, it just kind of depends on what you have here. With these motors, what I want to do first is I'm going to carefully look at where the, the bend is pointing toward, essentially. So, like, on this one, I can spin it, and I can see that basically it's bent toward right here. And I'm going to grab a Sharpie, and I'm going to mark on the bell where it's bent toward, because once this prop comes off, it can become a little bit more difficult to see where your... your um, your bend is and where you're working toward so I like to mark it on the bell so that I know exactly what I'm trying to in what direction I'm trying to go so let me get this one marked and I'll get this one marked and we'll pull these props off and I will show you what I use to go to bend these shafts back okay so I've got a mark made on the bell of each one of these motors it's kind of hard to see it's in black sharpie there's that one and in the direction that the motor shaft is pointing, like leaning. So what I want to do now, and basically you can almost guarantee that where this is bent is going to be right down here at this C-clip because it the shaft gets thinner right there and so if it's going to bend it's going to bend right there and it's also to a degree reinforced by this prop when it's on there so it's almost guaranteed if it's bent above the bell it's going to be bent right there at the very bottom so I like to leave the motors on the quad as long as it gives me reasonable access to what I'm doing so what I want to do is I'm going to grab the bell and the frame nice and tight and I've got these pliers here these are our smooth jaw pliers I like to use smooth jaw pliers because I find serrated pliers tend to grip into the shaft and they can actually make putting in the props on and taking them off harder later on. So I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom of the shaft here uh, and I'm just going to give it a little bit of a tweak. And uh, you, you can start slow, don't want to go too fast because if you go too far then you're bending it back and you risk breaking it, which it could break anyway. So holding onto the bell, just give it a little bit of a tweak like that. And then I can kind of look at it from directly above and check it. And you're not going to get this perfect. It's just not going to happen. Um, and then kind of take it again and tweak it again. Bend. Check it again. We're getting close. And you can kind of 
look at it from above and give it a spin and then you can see where I like to get the the bent part up and give it a little tweak again and that's fairly good you're not going to get it perfect um, unfortunately once it's bent it's in most of the time it's going to be a little bit bent but you can get most of the way there so let's take a look at this one motor now now that I've done some some bending to it and you can see that yeah it's still bent but it's not nearly as bad as it was before so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get both of these bent back and then we'll take a look at them and then we'll take her for a little flight alright so you can see if I spin this one now I got this one pretty much perfect but if you look at this one little something's missing the shaft broke and that's gonna happen and if I hold this shaft up close you can kinda see why where that C-clip goes, it's probably 30% thinner than the rest of the shaft. So if it's going to break, that's where it's going to break. And so I was bending it, and I, I bent it one last time just to get it as straight as possible. It wouldn't even go that far, and it just snapped. So I'm going to have to replace this one motor. However, this motor has been saved, and we'll fly again. So I'm going to put a new motor on here, and then we'll go fly.